welcome to the Auto Car Show. It's that time of the year again. Where we burn some serious rubber, see a lot of sideways action, and push the cars to their limits. And of course, all of that with the fastest Indian. Narain, it's great to have you back. I Thank think you. It's always exciting. Each year changes. Tell us, you know, what do you evaluate when you're going down the track and it's just the car and it's you? What are you thinking of? How do you evaluate these cars? We've always had an exciting lineup of cars. And, uh, you know, I look into the, the chassis dynamics, the ride and handling. That's the focus. It's uh, a test for the real driver's car, which is launched in India every year. So, so it's not necessarily the quickest car. It may be a car that's technically not the fastest 0 to 100, but you still find it better sometimes because? Because of the feel and handling, yes. Uh, I find it, um, you know, much more, uh, you know, driver's car. Um, so it's not necessarily, uh, okay, lap time does count end of yeah. the day and uh, the Godzilla, the Nissan uh, GTR has been the fastest on this track uh, and uh, no other cars got close to it yet. But um, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's, I really enjoy these days and uh, I look forward to them and uh, let's have some fun. The annual Autocar India Track Day always raises the adrenaline levels. Having a straight line drag could very well give us the fastest car. But using the track allows us to test the best driver's car in all senses. With Narain driving them year after year, a level of consistency is maintained. And when you see his lines around the track mapped on the V-Box, lap after lap, no matter the car, you will know the kind of consistency I'm talking about. Each year, we choose cars we think could qualify as fun to drive and this year, we had quite an eclectic bunch. Ford's award-winning 1.0-litre EcoBoost, the heart of the new EcoSport. Another exciting engine in a small package, the 1.2-litre TSI petrol in Volkswagen's Polo GT TSI. Moving many rungs up the performance ladder, we have the exciting rear-wheel drive Mercedes E63 AMG. The Audi R8 V10 Coupe with Quattro four-wheel drive. Porsche's stunning new 911 Carrera in its all-wheel drive 4S Avatar. And to spice it up, we added racing DNA in the mix with the Mahindra Super XUV 500. The SUV that's been dominating Indian rallying this season and a really special open-wheel racer. JA Motorsports Indy two-seater track day car, making its track debut with the fastest Indian behind the wheel. Well, it's time to get going and start up the action on the track. And we always start with the babies of the bunch. They may be small engines, but they're really interesting ones. The Polo GT TSI and the Ford EcoSport EcoBoost. The Ford EcoSport has been a runaway success since its launch in July this year. While one could love or hate the aggressive styling, what's under the compact SUV skin is what interested us. The EcoSport shares its underpinning with Ford's Fiesta hatchback, one of the best handling cars in the world. And the award-winning 1.0-litre turbocharged EcoBoost engine doesn't feel small, leaving a lot of potential for Narain to unlock. Brilliant. Um, the whole car is uh, packaged and put together very nicely. Um, it has a high CG centre of gravity, so you feel the car rolling around a bit, but uh, even then, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's done very well on the track. EcoSport's poise and lack of body roll allowed Narain to really attack the corners, generating a lap time of 2 minutes 19.3 seconds. While it doesn't sound blisteringly fast, this SUV is as quick around the MMSC as a Maruti Swift. Enough said, we think. The engine is fantastic, it drives really well, uh, and then, you know, the brakes. 
um, they're brilliant as well. Um, so, you know, overall they've done a super, super job on this car. Um, and maybe inside, you know, inside the car, the seats don't have too much support. You get thrown in the car a little bit, you're moving a lot. Uh, but apart from that, uh, they've done a very, very good job. Fantastic, yeah. While it wears a familiar set of clothes, the Volkswagen Polo GT TSI has an all-new heart. The 1.2-litre TSI petrol engine puts out 103 bhp and is mated to the Volkswagen Group's DSG twin-clutch automatic gearbox. Game on then! It has an upgraded engine for sure, you can feel the extra horsepower and it's more drivable in that sense. Uh, but uh, on the track it's a bit too soft, the front is too wobbly, it just digs in. Um, they could have made it a little bit more sharper since it's called, it has a GT tag, there must be something more to it. And then the calibration of the TCS is quite uh, poor because uh, you know it uh, has a mind of its own. And uh, uh, also the, the gearbox is quick on the up upshift but then, uh, well, it's, it's nice for the roads I guess but, um, uh, but on the track it's a bit way uh, too soft. The GT TSI's turbocharged engine makes much more torque and that combined with the extra gears in the DSG box give it more speed on the straights. But a sportier suspension setup was what Narain missed, which would have given it better cornering ability. Still, the improved engine and drivetrain package pushed the Polo GT to a lap time of 2 minutes and 16.5 seconds. A full 4 seconds quicker than the old Polo 1.6 and three seconds quicker than a Swift. Well, we just saw Narain push these cars to their absolute limits. We'll take a short break right now, and after the break, we're gonna pick up the action. Stay tuned.